Thanks for joining us. We do have live team coverage tonight as people near northern Utah's burn scars prepare for mudslides and possible flooding. Lindsay Storrs tracking the storm as it makes its way in. First, though, we want to go to Brona Tumulti. She's live on the foothills of Utah Valley. Brona, burn scars and flood fears seem to be the words of the day. They stare at me. If you check this out behind me, you can see scenes like this sandbag barriers around each of the 20 or so homes that could be in the path of this flooding if it's as bad as it's expected to be tomorrow. Now, UDOT has been down here for hours too. This barrier just went in in the last 10 minutes to block off the road here. And if you turn the camera around, uh, you can see that even though it's this time of night, there are still families out here bagging up sand, trying to be as prepared as they can be ahead of tomorrow. We're in a very a uh, vulnerable spot. Brad Saunders, like many of his neighbors, is pretty exhausted. Yeah, but, um, but it's not over yet. In fact, the latest threat hasn't even got started. We're really worried about the potential for flooding and what might happen to our homes. A whole lot of rain is expected to fall tomorrow. If uh, we have some flooding, it's going to come down through this canyon where we have about 20 homes. In an area already devastated by fire. We just have a, a very large burn scar from uh, the recent fire, the Bald Mountain fire that was behind our homes. Some families are now evacuating for the second time in a matter of weeks. It feels a little surreal. Um, uh, it would be nice to feel some sense of normalcy. But Saunders is choosing to stay. A lot of us feel like we want to stay and be able to protect our homes. The community working together to protect their property. Sandbagging uh, many hours starting early in the, in the morning all day long till dark. So we really appreciate all their efforts. But the National Guard is on hand to help too. We have approximately 200 soldiers uh, coming tomorrow morning. Rolling in dozers this evening. This equipment that is here right now is, is actually coming from Camp Williams. And helping build up protection. The berms that we want to build are, are larger, big uh, barrier obstacles that will help to divert the water where we anticipate that it might be coming down the mountain. Prepared to do everything they can to help a community that keeps on getting pummeled by Mother Nature. And we obviously hope that, that no flooding occurs, but should it occur, we're ready. And again, those soldiers are expected to arrive very early in the morning. And even though the community here has been doing everything they can, bagging up sand, the National Guard is expected to bring even more sandbags with them when they show up tomorrow morning. Live in Elk Ridge, Bruno Tumulty, 2 News.